Welcome everyone. Let's have a tour, shall we? Brian Lebo here, and today I'm very pleased to present this wonderful custom home. Now, we're a little bit off the beaten path today. Normally we're in master plan communities in Green Valley, Summerlin. We've done a few off the beaten path, and this one's in a really unique area in between, let's say, Silverado Ranch and Green Valley. It's about a one quarter mile, well, one square mile area of mostly custom homes without massive HOAs and country club lifestyle. So if you wanted a little bit more peace, this is the area to be. So very unique. And this neighborhood itself only consists of five homes in a private gated community. Without further ado, let's check out this property. Let's start in the kitchen like we always do. First off, we can discuss the flooring. Here we have 24 by 36 inch porcelain floors in a brick laid pattern. Very nice, very modern. But let's start off here in the kitchen. Now, I personally love what they did with this island. So first off, we have a luxury quartzite countertop. You can tell that it's a custom fabrication because you can see this one has a four inch relief. Very nice. And like we're used to, we have a double waterfall. So both sides, we have the waterfall. What I really do love is the contrast. As you can see, the cabinets we'll discuss later is in this espresso color. But here we have a custom white lacquered veneer. I really like the way it offsets everything. And then this is a great return. So you could easily sit four people here. So this is more of your informal kitchen space. Um, I actually really love it. You guys tell me what your comments are. And then of course, rounding it off, we have a waterfall return for this seating area. Again, let me some comments. What do you guys think? I love it. Now over here, like we just said, we have custom cabinetry. So we have kind of a zebra wood espresso colored veneer. Uh, we have our dual refrigeration by Frigidaire here. And now this is really, really neat. Uh, normally, if you didn't have custom cabinetry here, you would have an obvious door to a pantry. And in this application, because this is fully custom, that allowed this to kind of blend in. So while you would never notice it, this actually is a full walk-in pantry. So really, really nice and a great way to kind of hide it from sight. So that takes care of that part. Now we have our dual ovens by Samsung. Pretty nice. Uh, we have little frosted accents for the glass and stainless steel uh, cabinetry. And it's flanked by, like I just said, the zebra wood espresso cabinetry. I do like how they put these shelves over here. Just a nice touch. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this kitchen, I actually have this in my house, but you rarely see it. Uh, I love that they did a hexagonal stainless steel backsplash. You don't really see the stainless steel backsplash. I like the way that it coordinates with the stainless steel appliances. Again, you guys tell me what you think. Is this looking outdated to you? I, I like it, but you tell me. Now we have a 36 inch cooktop by Samsung, all matching appliance package. And then we have the matching uh, ventilation hood with the extended venting. Now over here on this side of the island, we have the contrasting cabinets. So even though there's only about four cabinets here, this is the white lacquer that I just showed you on the back side of the island. And then of course we have a built-in microwave here. Um, on the counter surface, we do have the prototypical Calcutta white quartz countertops that we've been seeing for the last three years that everyone loves. Uh, yeah, what can I say? It perfectly fits the bill. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know my pet peeve. We've seen three, four, $5 million homes with only one dishwasher. Here, under $3 million. Thank you, they got it right. Here we have dual dishwashers, thank you. Um, okay, we have a Holzer built-in farm style sink. Now, one of the coolest parts is because of this location, we have unobstructed views of virtually the entire strip from here. I can even see Allegiant Stadium. That is really wonderful when you're in your kitchen to be able to have those views. Love, love, love it. All right, uh, again, nice, lovely chandelier we have, but let's go ahead and check out this hallway because this is where some of the secondary bedrooms are. First, we have extra storage. So we have the same espresso cabinetry and the Calcutta that matches the counter surface in the kitchen. Now in here, we have the powder bathroom, much of a darker motif. So we have the antique glass uh, for an accent wall, black for the toilet, black. Now, one thing we're gonna discuss, it, it nothing to do with this home in particular, 
But one of my least favorite design issues is when we have a wood surface surrounding a sink, it never holds up. I mean, we've seen an $8 million home that had this, it never lasts. So don't ever put this into your custom home because it's guaranteed for problems when you have guests that splash water everywhere. Don't do it, stick to a hard, solid surface. Now, down here we have uh, an extra coat closet. Over here we have a laundry room, which is really neat. This is actually one of two laundry areas. So this is the main laundry room, same espresso cabinets, really nice dark gray quartz counter surfaces. And of course we have our laundry sink here. Um, you'll see later the primary also has plumbed for the washer dryer. Now over here on both sides, we have secondary suites. All, both of these bedrooms are suites. So a normal, nice bedroom. We do have 12 foot ceiling. Uh, this is the view of the front of the house over here. And then of course, because it's a suite, this is its in-suite bathroom. Now, one thing to mention, all the doors in this house are solid core doors. So much, much nicer, higher quality than you would imagine just by watching the video. Here we have the white quartz countertops. We do have custom floating um, uh, cabinets, but in this case, we have more of a walnut look versus the espresso that we saw in the kitchen. The flooring in here is a little different. We have 12 by 24 inch tile that kind of looks like linen. You can see a little bit better here in the shower area. And both of these bathrooms have bathtubs. Uh, so in case you have smaller children, you at least have some bathtub space. This takes care of the first one. Let's walk across the hall and check out this one. We have a walk-in closet here. It's full of children's stuff, so no point in seeing it. We have upgraded luxury carpet, same 12 foot high ceilings, Thank you, there's recessed lights in all of these rooms and it's even pre-wired for surround sound if you wanted to have the whole home done on a, on a, on a surround sound system, like a control four. Solid core doors, we have the same matching white counter surfaces, the walnut floating cabinets and the same shower setup. So it's basically a mirror image of this other one. Okay, now that we have finished with the secondary bedrooms, Let's go back to where we started and let's check out the living space because it's really neat. And of course, of course, we're gonna have to talk about the slider because I'm sure you saw that in the beginning of the video. Now, over here, this is a really, really unique design feature. Uh, to me, it reminds me of those homes in the 1970s where you would walk into the front door and you would have this kind of a partition leading into the living room. Um, I, I like it, I like what they did here. And, but the reality is, is the reason why it's not just for design, but it's functional. There is a basement below us and these stairs lead to it. So if you didn't have this partition, especially children, dogs, people that aren't paying attention, you literally would fall and plummet and not be in a very good position. So this is really functional with some design factor. But you tell me, do you guys like this look? The only other thing I think you could really do would put a custom glass partition and that would showcase more of the floating staircase that I really love. So you tell me, do you like this or would you prefer to have a glass partition set up? Now over here, we have our formal dining room set. Uh, we still have elevated ceilings, two surround sound pre-wires. So again, if you had a control four system, you could knock out everything. And neat, under here, we have our rear surround speakers for the family room surround system. So you could still, even though we have ceilings that are 25 feet high, you still could incorporate a surround sound system here. Now, let's talk about what we really wanna talk about. This is a beautiful, beautiful indoor, outdoor living experience. So here we have a 20 foot slider, and this is a little bit of a different system. Instead of doing a pocket slider or and a lot of homes, we've seen $5 million homes that don't even have pockets. This is a different system. This is more of an accordion based system where they tilt and slide. It's not the easiest, but it's also not that difficult either, but it allows for a lot more space if you can't have a pocket. Now, again, what's awesome here is we have the same flooring that we had inside continuing outside. We've seen homes where they messed this up before, so you can't take this for granted. But this makes for the seamless indoor outdoor living. We have a ridiculously massive balcony. I mean, we've got 20 foot high ceilings on this patio cover, and it extends over into that formal dining area. This overlooks the pool and the massive backyard. 
But again, what's so neat is you're elevated and you can see the entire strip at night. This would be amazing. All right, back into the family room. Over here, we have the media wall. So we have a 75 inch television to give you some sense of scale. We have a nice walnut mantle. And I like what they did here. They went with like a gray stacked marble um, around the fireplace. And this is actually a 60 inch gas fireplace, not electric. We've been seeing nothing but electric. So kind of neat to switch it up. These are substantially more expensive than your electric counterparts. Now over here, this is kind of neat. This is the bar area. So I'm gonna swing around here so I can show it to you a little bit better. Now, kind of a cool design feature. This was done a lot in the early 2000s. Haven't seen it too much lately, but really neat brushed aluminum with a glass top. So it's really cool for the bar so you can pass drinks back and forth. Now over here, this is the wet bar. So we do have our refrigeration for your champagne, wine, etc. We do have custom fabricated counter surfaces. So this is actually a black quartz countertop. And then here, kind of neat, we have a KitchenAid ice maker. Don't see that too often. The same espresso cabinetry that we had in the kitchen. And then of course we have our refrigeration here for everything else. And then these windows look through the front of the house and there you go. Now let's come over this direction, right back to where we originally started. Now this is interesting. Over here, we have just your normal coat closet, not really worth mentioning. Of course, where we started was with this massive pivot door, very popular. You're seeing this all the time in custom homes, especially on the higher end of the custom range, but very nice. And this has been tinted for privacy. Over here, this is kind of neat. <clears throat> you can see that this is glass. This is actually plumbed to be a wine closet. So you could add refrigeration and make this into a complete wine cellar, wine closet, whatever you want to say. Very, very neat. And it's a nice option to have. Now, this is the shot that I wanted you to see. This is the staircase. And I love, love, love the floating staircase. Um, I just think it just gives it that custom look and really just elevates the architecture of the home. Here we have a river rock pit. So, and there's plumbing here. I'm assuming this is plumbed for electrical or even a water feature. It looks, that actually looks like a water line. So here you could have a water element feature. Um, you could probably put a Christmas tree during winter time. That would be nice to have like a sculpture or something. But again, this gives you that vantage point of the partition and the floating stairs. And I absolutely love this part of the house. Okay, we have seen the complete entry floor level. So this is mid floor, second floor, whatever. We finished with this. Now we're gonna go upstairs and take you to the primary suite because the entire upstairs floor is basically just a massive primary suite. So without further ado, let's head upstairs. All right, welcome to upstairs, which is all basically the primary suite. So let's follow down this direction. And I apologize ahead of time, there's construction going on next door. Now, one thing here that's kind of funny is we have this door and it didn't seem like there was a point to the ingress or egress. Ashley was kind enough to come up with the idea that if you were outside on this balcony that's off the primary and you wanted to have a drink and you needed to go to the kitchen, instead of having to go through the primary suite, you could just come in through this door. So we're gonna go with that. But it still seems nice to have, but it just seems odd. I don't know how much you would use it. Now here we are in the primary suite. Thankfully, it's a little quieter in here. So here we are in the primary suite. We've got 10 foot ceilings, we have recessed lights, we do have the continuation of the surround sound through the entire home as we saw before. But this is really what's amazing. Here you have unobstructed views again of the entire strip. So that's really nice to wake up and see or go to bed at night seeing the strip. All right, now before we see what's behind you, kind of neat, we're gonna head down this way and see going towards the primary bathroom. Now. Over here on your left and your right side, I'll give you my flight attendant. <laughs> Over here, we have his and her closets, his and his, hers and her. I don't know what the proper nomenclature is anymore, but we have two closets and we'll leave it at that. Very nice. And there you go. The flooring in here, I really, really like. I don't know if you'll have a vantage point, but this is 12 by 24 inch concrete looking porcelain. Very nice and it's been honed. So it has a nice glossy look to it. Now here, this is what I alluded to earlier. This is plumbed for a stackable washer and dryer. So that is amazing. So in your primary suite, you can do your laundry and you don't have a long walk to put it away, especially since the primary washer and dryer is downstairs. 
Very neat. I'm not showing it to you because there isn't a washer dryer in there and it's just being used as a closet. Now over here in this direction, first let's start off with the most obvious part. I love this freestanding bathtub. Beautiful. You've got the window here. Not exactly private, but they'd have to be very interested in what you're doing, but very, very nice. We have the same stacked marble that we had on the media surround downstairs, but very elegant. Now over here, we have the same Calcutta quartz that we had in the counter surface in the kitchen. And here they did a waterfall return. So very elegant. We have continued um, custom cabinetry that's floating the same walnut look that we had in the other bathrooms and an above mount sink, very nice. Over here, we have one toilet, and then this is in another additional linen closet. Over here, very same mirror image, waterfall return, the walnut. We have our mirrors, Calcutta surface, but let's check out the shower. We have a really, really large shower. Very nice, very elegant. So above, we have a rainfall shower head. We have our wand and regular shower. Now it's interesting. This is all Calcutta. Now this, it looks like marble, but this is actually a porcelain print. In person right now, you wouldn't even tell. You would have to know, but you can't tell. So this is actually a porcelain Calcutta replicated tile, but then these inlays, this is actual marble. But in person, you can't even tell the difference. So we have the mosaic inlaid marble and it's mirrored on the shower pan floor with real marble inlaid for the shower pan. And it's just very, very spacious. And then of course we have a barn door for our shower. All right, let's head back down this direction because there's one more thing that's kind of neat that I want to show you. Now, I'm not really a big fan of master, oh, ooh, I said the wrong word, primary retreats. So here, this could be set up, I'm assuming this could have been set up as a bedroom, but this is, in this implication, is gonna be used as a retreat. And now, furthermore, this was actually used into a closet. So we have shelves here. I'm pretty sure these are from Ikea, because I have an entire room full of shoes, and I use these exact shelves. So we have the lack shelves used as the same idea that I did, four shoes, and this is just another closet that you could have. Now going out this direction, we have a really, really spacious balcony. So if you're the kind of person that wants to wake up, have some coffee and take in the views, you have those wonderful views, very nice. And of course, if you're out here and you're having some drinks, you can turn around and use that other door to go and refresh yourself. I'm trying to make some sense out of it. All right, let's see what's left up here. Again, how wonderful is this landing space? Um, I love the tension wire that they use, very popular to give it that modern loft look. And then over here, I've seen this many times before. Typically this space is used as like an office. So typically you would see a desk and it should be a nice office space with beautiful views while you're working. Um, a little bit disruptive if you have a family and there's noise down there, but normally that's what this is used for. Right now, this is just a fitness area. But we have seen the entire upstairs, the entire primary suite. We've been dealing with this construction. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the basement. All right, now we are in the basement. So this is more of the hangout place, if you will. So here we have it set up as like a viewing room. Above us, we do have, even downstairs, we do have 10 foot ceilings, but we do have 5.1 surround sound for this media area. Now over here, this one's kind of neat. We have another secondary bedroom, luxury carpet, 10 foot ceilings, nice over here you can actually just open the slider, go right into the pool and out. So this is kind of a really nice guest bathroom, uh, bedroom. Now over here, again, everything's in suite. So here we have the bathroom. I love the flooring. I've used this exact flooring many times, concrete gray, shout out to Flooring Couture. Um, we have our floating cabinet, same white quartz countertops, same as we've seen before. But in here, what's kind of nice is if you remember upstairs in those secondary suites, the bathrooms had tub showers for children. Here, they just went ahead and made a really lovely shower. So it's, it's much more oversized than you ever see in a normal shower. So very nice porcelain tile, nice mosaic around, nice shower pan, just a really nice shower. I would presume that your guests are probably going to be staying here. Uh, over here, we do have a pretty large closet, but it's being used for storage right now. All right. That takes care of this downstairs bedroom. 
Let's go back into the basement area. Now coming this direction, over here we have a closet that's really, really large. It's more of like a storage area, nothing too exciting. Now over here we have the wet bar because you need some action for down here. So we have really lovely different cabinetry. This is the only one in the house that's different from the espresso and the walnut looking one. This one's more of a grayish color. I, I personally love it. And it's flanked on top by black quartz countertops. We have a stainless steel sink. And of course we have refrigeration over here. So very nice, very good for hanging out. Uh, let's check out this bathroom over here. Again, because you're right by the jacuzzi and you're right by the pool, pretty standard is to have access to a bathroom. So here we have the pool bathroom. So here we have our external door that leads right to the pool and jacuzzi. And then here we have the same espresso cabinetry that we saw upstairs in the kitchen. Great quartz counter surface that we saw in the laundry room. And then just our toilet. So very nice, gets the job done and we're good to go. Now, finally, this is where you would enter the house from the garage space. So this is another storage area. And then this here is the garage. Um, you know, it's a basic garage, so we're not gonna physically go in there. We'll show you some B-roll, you know, epoxy floor, three car garage, very spacious, very large. What I love about it though, is the dramatic entry to the garage. Um, it, so the garage is not visible from the front of the home. I think it's a very elegant look and I really, really like it. Okay, well, we've seen the main floor. We've seen the primary suite floor. And of course we've seen the basement. So that leaves only one thing left. Let's come check out this backyard and let's hope that we can get the construction guys to uh, be quiet for just 15 minutes. All right, guys, welcome to outside. Now, first off, we have 10 foot high ceilings right above us, which again, above us was the patio balcony coming off of the family room. And we're below that. So, Behind here, well, obviously we have an outdoor sauna, but behind here is plumbed for water so we can have an outdoor kitchen and or this makes more sense. We do have a gas stub, so this could be the outdoor kitchen area, but we have a much better one in mind. Now, coming down here, we have pavers throughout the entire backyard. We've got artificial turf on this side for, you know, your fur babies. And then we have this massive, massive pool. This pool is actually towing the line of what could even be built right now because of the new restrictions. But it's a beautiful pool, very modern, just a plain plaster pool, but it gives it that fresh look. We have our Baja shelf here with a plug-in hole for an umbrella for some shade. And then of course you can see back here, we've got the water features off for sound reasons, but we have three sheer descent water features. So it's like three waterfalls, very nice. In the middle, we have the elevated jacuzzi. It's a plain, simple jacuzzi, but we do have cool decking, so you won't burn up when you step into the jacuzzi. Very nice. Now, why would you put your outdoor kitchen over there, like I showed you, when you have this outdoor kitchen? So, you know, it's Vegas. It gets to 110, 115 degrees. Love that they put in this massive patio cover pergola, so this way you have plenty of shade when you're outside. Now we have an outdoor specific television, so very nice. Can hang out here by the bar, have some drinks, watch the game, be outside. We have a lovely 12 by 24 inch porcelain tile. We've got our built-in barbecue and we have refrigeration, very nice. Now check out this area. This is why you buy in these parts of town is because you can buy land. So on this third acre of land, you can see the footprint. I mean, look how much space you have here. You already have a backyard pool, plenty of seating behind the pool, and all of this massive synthetic lawn for you as well. So this is great for the kids, this is great for the fur babies. And you got so much room here, you could literally put in a basketball court or a tennis court and make another use out of it. Um, now, of course, like we saw in the B-roll, this is the entry from the garage. And I love that you have this dramatic entry. You even have gates for security so that way no one could actually enter this area. All right, guys, we've seen the entire house. Tell me, what is your favorite part? Do you love the indoor outdoor living on that 20 foot slider? Is it the backyard, the views? You tell me, I love to read your comments. I try to read them all and respond but please leave your comments and let me know. Special thanks to the listing agent for allowing me to shoot this property. And uh, we got a lot more wonderful property tours coming. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Deuces.